Today we're gonna be making art out of candy. And whichever one of you has the best candy art after five hours wins up to five grand for a random subscriber and a lifetime supply of candy. You guys have 60 seconds to pick out your candy. After us. What are you doing? Mackenzie, what the heck? She's destroying our set on purpose. Content. Time's up, you guys can't grab any more candy. And Ben's already eating candy. We've worked with gum, jelly beans, and they've honestly gotten pretty creative with it. I think if it were up to me, I would take a large canvas and do a candy dragon. It's definitely gonna be an interesting challenge because I have a couple twists up my sleeve, even though I don't have any sleeves today. And this is the aftermath of my beautiful candy store. I want a couple food challenges. I want gumball and watermelon. So maybe food is just what I'm good at. I'm a real artist today. We'll see how long that lasts. What is going on over here? It's exactly what you think it is. It's a red potato. Yes. I've decided on making a snake. I tried to grab as much as I could before Mackenzie's filthy paws just took everything from the table. I collected a lot of candy. I am going to make also, if you lose in this video, you get slimed at the end. No! Michelle, I found the perfect candy for you. What are the chances on one side it says art, on the other side it says math? That's you and me. I am math. My boy Ben's eating good. I feel sick now. Like, what are you making though? I don't know. It's ready to be up when the next video. I've been really into birds lately, so I will do a flamingo. Who eats dots? I love dots. Don't you dare. You like dots? These candies are gross. Yeah, it looks like everyone's really focused on working right now. I have a couple little challenges to get them out of their comfort zone. And I just thought of a really good one. Everyone, listen up. We have our first challenge. Follow me. All right, Michelle, give me a color. Red. Whoever can separate the most red Skittles in 30 seconds gets an advantage. Go. It needs to be in a pile with only red. If I see another color Skittle, you're disqualified. Red only. Red only. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. Vinny, how many red Skittles do you have? 39. 45. 48. 38. 45. Ben, you're the winner for this mini challenge. Let's go. You got to choose two people and eliminate one color of candy. Can I consult with somebody? Sure. Michelle. Hey, so what color? Let's take a look around. I don't know. Let's go. Something's happening. Ben's taking a look around. Hey, what are you making? Uh, a snake with these. I actually might need one of these. Wait, oh. what? That looks like something else. It's a She said it, I didn't. <laughs> so you're not trying to target Michelle at all? Nah. That chose me! No black, Jake. Okay, that's fine. I literally have no black candy. Let's see. I'm gonna target Ken's. Go over, go over. Yeah, look me in the eye while you do it. No red. Okay. Hey, Vinny, what are you gonna give me if I make this shot in the trash can? I'll give there? you a dollar if you make that. i give you three tries, too. Nope. Oh, that's not the light, the trash can. Kobe! Let's go! I'll Venmo you. All right, I feel sick from eating all that candy. I am Miss Lunchy. I'm queen of food. I am gonna win today. I'm a little bored right now, so I came up with a pretty good idea to raise the stakes. David, go around and choose someone. Five seconds to choose one. Five, four, three, two. One. Mackenzie. So if Mackenzie ends up winning this challenge, I'll give you 500 bucks. Sweet. Honestly, if I were to choose someone, I would probably go with Jake. Yeah, no, I think Kenzie will pull through. Just because you didn't choose me, I'm actually gonna try now. That's, that, that's actually not half bad. I wanna give him a mouth, but like octopuses don't have mouths don't. on Just keep it like that. Yeah. I am now wrapping my snake with fruit by the foot. I feel like seeing so much candy is bringing out my entire childhood again. So I just came up with a couple new challenges. <laughs> Everyone, it's time for challenge number two. Come over here, take a fruit roll up and open it up. We're gonna play the game where you start with a tip on your tongue and you're gonna try to eat it all the way up. Person who finishes first gets an advantage. Last person, punishment. Go. Oh my goodness, it's really close between Vinny and Jake. Oh, Vinny won it. Vinny won it by half a second. Michelle, you got it. And Mackenzie, you got it. Ben, I thought you ate a lot of candy. And since you lost, you're getting punished. And Vinny, choose anyone to join Ben. Michelle? What? All right, Ben and Michelle, come with me. All right, Ben, Michelle, sort these into colors, and then you can get back to work. Okay, easy, easy, easy. This is more fun than the actual challenge. I'm happy Vince didn't choose me because sorting those does not look fun. Ah, uh, this is hurting my neck. I chose uh, to punish Michelle just because uh, that's my nemesis. I gotta beat Michelle. Wahoo! Hey, Dad. You're gonna win everything. The biggest reason why I want to win is because I want to make Zach proud and I am not 
quitting today. Originally, I picked a lion because I was going to use sweet tart ropes for the mane, but Ben took away my ability to use red. I'm turning this into a bear. Hey, Ken's, how's it going? It's going, David, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Zach said that he would have betted on me, so that makes me feel confident. This is what I have so far. The bottom lip is a little chunky, but I think it, it's all right. I'm too tempted. I saw some gummy candy net, and I want to try it. Cheers. It's not bad. I feel pretty good. How would you like it? This is driving me crazy. There's too much to put on. All right, everyone, we have our third challenge. Rules are simple. I'll chuck a gummy bear up, and you just gotta catch it in your mouth. You have three tries. So whoever wins this gets a pretty solid advantage. Jake, you ready? <laughs> no way, he got three for three. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Jake made it look really easy, because it's actually not that easy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. All right, Michelle, you ready? <laughs> nope. I'm not very good at this. Nope. I'll anyway. Oh. All right, Vinny, you ready? Nope. I guess the rest doesn't matter anymore, so there you go. There's your gummy bear. Wait, Jake, I don't know how you got three for three. Everyone was struggling to even get one. Acting like my life was on the line. So for your advantage, you can choose two contestants and make them play a game of Candyland, which takes around half an hour. Really? Let me just go around. Candyland. Vince no. gets to play Candyland. Yay. You can go play Candyland. OK, <laughs> Mackenzie. All right, so Vinny and Mackenzie have to play start to finish. Have fun. Ken, remember. Take your time. So Mackenzie and Vinny are playing Candyland. Oh, it could take one, two, or three hours, which would suck for them because there's 57 minutes left. I'm done. This game sucks. They just finished Candyland in five minutes. I guess my plan wasn't as diabolical as I thought it would be. Zachary, you said it was a huge advantage. Jake, this is extremely impressive, but if you look at Vinny's, it's very, very complete. I think I did way better than I anticipated. I think it's gonna be come down to me and Jake. Videographer, give me the camera real quick. Why don't you walk over and take a look at Jake's piece? Yeah, it's really good. Teeth look good. Tongue's good. Look at this awesome bear, Dave. It doesn't look so good. It's a win. It's number one. Number one. You get slimed if the person you bet on loses. What? Going to the desert has made me a lot nicer. <laughs> a lot nicer? Because Michelle was so mean on our date night video on her channel. I thought I was gonna die. And I'm just very grateful and happy to be here, Nancy. Vinny's one of my good friends. For some reason today, his piece looks really good. This is kind of out my alley. He works with wood. Wait, I thought you said no black for Jake. I didn't use black. Black oh. Oh. Oh, I have to cover it all. Did you use black? No! <laughs> Jake forgot about his disadvantage. Jake, if those are black jelly beans, you need to take them out right now. You have two and a half minutes to take it out before you're disqualified. Rolls are rolls. If he can't finish that, I'll have a more finished piece for him. That's good news for me. Five, four, three, two, one. And time is up. Everyone stop working. We're going to get to judging. Jake, why don't we start over here? Well, I originally was going to make a snake, but I'm going to call it a sand serpent now. It kind of like resembles a dragon in the front as well. I really like the detail. I, I think the most impressive thing about this piece is the mouth. I must say, Jake, this is probably one of your more impressive pieces, especially the head. Good job, Jake. Thank you. All right, Mackenzie, why don't you tell me about your piece? So this is a teddy bear. It's probably one of my best pieces I've ever done, and I'm going to be really upset if I don't win. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad piece, it's a solid piece. I don't like that the aluminum foil is still exposed. I also wouldn't say that this was one of your best pieces. Ben, what do we have here? I made an Oni mask. I used jelly beans, because it's probably like the only thing I knew how to use. And I am glad that you didn't give up. I am disappointed in your effort. Since I am your mentor, one of the biggest things I teach you is hard work and determination, and I only saw a tiny bit of that today. Michelle, tell me about your flamingo. I gave the flamingo Vinny's legs. Oh, because oh, Vinny has skinny legs. We get a shot of these fat quads. <laughs> well, I think it was really cute that you used these as like feathers and yeah. you kind of like tilted them up. This is a fairly strong piece, Michelle. I, yeah! It's not bad. Good job, Michelle. Vinny, what do we have here? Uh, I got an octopus coming out of the water. I used gumballs, Pez, ring pops, so Jolly Ranchers, I Mike and Ike's, so jelly beans. Do Zach did give me the idea of the water. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely impressed right now. Thank you. People are gonna start taking you seriously because this is a very good piece. Yeah. Like
So before we do a subscriber poll to see who wins, I am going to eliminate a few people right off the bat. Michelle, I was rooting for you from the very start. They give me a chance! I'm gonna eliminate you. Sorry, Michelle. In the comments, please say that I'm better than Vince. No! And Mackenzie, I am also going to be eliminating your piece. It is definitely not as strong as some of the other pieces here. So round of applause for Michelle and Mackenzie. Vinny, Ben, Jake. I am thinking of a number from one through three. Two, three, one. Jake, you automatically move on to the finals. Yes! Vinny, Ben, we're playing a game called Sudden Death with my subscribers. I'm gonna ask one subscriber which one they like best, and they'll choose. I asked Juan Jose, which piece is your favorite? The person moving on to the finals to compete against Jake is... Vinny! Ah! For our final round, it will be three subscribers determining your fate. <laughs> the first vote goes to... Vinny! Ah! I'm screwed! You only need one more vote to win this entire competition. I'm very excited. I asked Jenna, which one is your favorite piece? And Jenna's vote goes to... Jake! Ah! <laughs> You're back in the game, it's all tied up. For those of you guys that are participating in this poll, I love you guys and, and thanks for subscribing. Just subscribe and you can vote as well. So I asked Jake, which piece do you like the best? That's not fair. Hey, it's a random subscriber and his name just so happens to be Jake. Vinny, Jake, come up over here. Oh, God. All right. And the winner that's going to win up to five grand for a random subscriber and a lifetime supply of candy for themselves is... Jake! Ah! <laughs> Vinny, you were so, so close. Oh. Jake was scared out of his mind. I'm shaking. We have three canvases and three artists. Artists, put on your gloves. <laughs> you guys will be painting using 10,000 gum balls. <laughs> By the way, the artist that has the best gum painting will win a lifetime supply of gum. I literally bought 50 pounds of gum. The losers get gum in their hair. No! 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 I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No! The losers have to step in gum. The painting needs to be entirely made of gumballs. Please be as sanitary as possible. We'll have cleaning supplies. You guys have three hours. Go! <laughs> Michelle, do you know what you're gonna paint? Kinda. Probably make a textured so painting. Zach, are we supposed to chew them? You can. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so gross. Zach, I cannot tell you how much I hate this. So Jess, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm trying to get the color off of the paint balls with some water. The so... paint balls? <laughs> <laughs> you want the ball? Ooh. Like, bubble gum in hot water. water. That will melt it. I think I have enough blue now. <laughs> Ew! I think I'm gonna do some sort of small characters for my painting. Whole face muscles. I'm telling you, this is a workout. Viv, how badly do you want this lifetime supply of gum? I don't want it. Bon appetit! <laughs> <laughs> so far, it looks like they're off to a bit of a rough start. Viv has a really nice butterfly down so far. Michelle, I'm not quite sure what she's doing so far. <laughs> it looks pretty nasty. Jazz already has a background color, which is interesting. It looks like she's going for more of a sky. Yeah, but let's keep going. <laughs> Yes. Toss the gumball three feet in the air and catch it in your mouth. For each one you catch, you get a hundred bucks. Then with the Christmas tree, my face is all purple. Do you like my painting? It's raining gumballs, so I made different colored clouds and lightning bolts. So we're gonna fill this gumball machine up with this. Whoever guesses the closest number will win a hundred dollars, and if they guess the exact number, I'll give them the entire gumball machine. 
the two gumballs dropped on the floor, which means there's only 256 left in here if my calculations are correct. Alright, Hulk, you made a mess. You are cleaning this up. Hi, Hulk. What do you think of it? I know. We have a uh, guess how many gumballs are in the candy machine. Oh my god! The person who's closest will win $100. Viv, how many gumballs do you think are in here? 80. 80, okay. 269. 405. The number is 256. Oh! oh, oh that was so good! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Michelle, you want a mini challenge? I redeem myself from the last one. It's like everyone's getting more comfortable. A lot of people are doing backgrounds now. Viv, she got a lot done. She has some really, really cool flowers. However, I'm not sure why she put gumballs over her butterfly. I thought her butterfly was really, really good. Michelle's is really interesting. She did a Christmas tree. She's gonna have to work on that background a little bit more. She used the gumballs pretty nicely. They look like little ornaments. For Jazz's, it's quite nice too. She has a little rainbow. The clouds have thunderbolts, which is a pretty nice touch. I'd say they're all pretty even. Michelle's doing a lot better than I thought. It's gonna be a tough decision. Contestants, next! Wash your hands real quick and grab one gumball. Jess, place your gumball right here. Perfect. You guys need to move the gumball without touching it, which means you can only blow on it. <laughs> First gumball to hit the door wins. Go! Oh my God. <laughs> Since you won, you get to opt out of the next challenge. All right, artists, we're down to the last 30 minutes. Michelle, yes. here's a quarter. Viv, here is a quarter. You guys are gonna get one gumball out of the gumball machine, and whatever color you get, you need to take 10 of those gumballs and add it to your painting somehow. <sighs> oh my god, please be no. red! I guess one of them is red, so if you want, you can take red. Yeah. Okay, purple. Ooh, purple. Oh, yay. All right, so Michelle, <laughs> choose 10 red gumballs added to your painting. Viv, choose 10 purple gumballs and add it to your painting. All right, artists, we're down to the last 30 minutes. How are you going to put your 10 purple gumballs onto your painting? So I'm going to put it in a plate and add hot water to make some paint. I added some extra red ornaments, and now I'm making candy canes out of them. Whoa, those actually kind of look like candy canes. <laughs> you guys have 15 minutes left on the clock, so use your time wisely. After this challenge, I really don't want to ever chew gum ever again. 10, oh, 9, 3, 2, 1. Hands in the air! <laughs> All right, good job, guys! Yeah. So it's the next day. The paintings have had some time to dry. Jess, do you want to tell us about your painting? Originally, this was a rainbow, but I made it into a slide, and I made a teal little guy because that's Zach. Oh. Oh, his head just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like raining gumballs. Zach's sliding down the slide to go pick the pink flower for Michelle. The moral oh. of the story There's is... a moral to, you, to the yeah. story. <laughs> Zach will go through any storm to get Michelle her flower. Aww. I like how you came up with the idea to paint a background. Thanks, Jess. So I did a Christmas tree. I got some ornaments, I got a yellow star, I got some tinsel, some candy canes, and Santa hats. So I like the star you made. The background is a little bit blotchy, but I like how it's all pink. You must have chewed a lot of gum for that. You chewed <laughs> by far the most gum. Good job, Michelle. <laughs> I decided to go with a butterfly, one 3D flower. I just let these in water and just squished them with my finger. It was supposed to be made out of gum. I probably would have thought it was watercolors or something. I don't think the grass turned out exactly yeah, how you wanted it to. It didn't. it didn't keep its shape, it kind of just melted. The one thing I wish he did was keep the butterfly without the gumballs. I thought it looked really, really good <laughs> just with the gum. But overall, it's an amazing painting. Good job, it's beautiful, babe. Unfortunately, only one person can win the lifetime supply of gum. Coming in third place, oh. we have <laughs> Jazz. Oh. The winner is Michelle. Ah! <laughs> Jazz, Viv, chew your gum. Put it on the ground. Pick up your gum and throw it away. Oh, come 
I was craving candy and I was kind of bored, so I just bought 100,000 gumballs. We have five artists and 100,000 gumballs. Whoever makes the best art out of gum will win up to $10,000 for a charitable cause of their choice. Wow. And just as a little bit more incentive, I'll also toss in $500 for you. Yeah. And you get to keep the rest of the gum. Yay! Well, anyway, I'll give you five hours. Time starts now. Great. Jazz! Ew! Use your protection. Hey, gum. I hate it. I'm gonna throw it. I wish I didn't see that. We are 15 minutes in, which means we're gonna do our first challenge. Whoever can blow the biggest bubble will get an advantage. Ew. Oh wow, three, two, one. All right, Jake, it looks like you are the winner of this challenge. Decide who has to wear this for the rest of the challenge and they can take it off. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> If this is your costume for the rest of the challenge, you may not take it off. Also, everyone, did I mention, if you lose, you get gum in your hair. What? No. What? <laughs> Ew! Get me out hey. of here! I don't want to be Hey, Mackenzie, you want this Fanta? <laughs> Ew, it's sticky! So we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors until you win. If you win on the first round, you don't have to do any laps. Other than that, however many times it takes for you to win, that's how many laps around the house you have to do. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, scissors, shoot. Two laps. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, you don't have to do any laps, Jake. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, Michelle, I think that's eight. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Yeah! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, 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 shoot. All right, that's four laps. All right, everyone go run your laps. Ah! What? Ah! Ah! Ugh. Okay, perfect. Oh, I... Burn off those gum calories. I'm done. Mama, last lap. I can't, I can't breathe. Welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm so tired. Why? <laughs> we are one hour in, which means we have another challenge. What you're gonna do is you have one minute to chew a piece of gum. Whoever stretches it the least has to do a punishment. Stretch your gum. You have five seconds to stretch it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone, hold it up. What? Guys? Oh! Izzy, I think you lost. Oh, I have to be punished? Oh, no. Izzy? No. This is fish oil. Oh! You're gonna put these on either side of your mouth and pop it. All right, everyone, cheer Izzy on. Go. Izzy, you got it. Go, go, go. Since you didn't swallow the fish oil oh, pills. Oh God! Wow. Izzy, come with me. We're gonna see how many push-ups you have to do. Oh. You have three chips. Put these down here, and this will determine how many push-ups you have to do. <laughs> 21 push-ups. You have 22 push-ups before you can go back. Nice. <laughs> I'm so tired of chewing gum. But at least, I think my octopus is turning out good. Everyone, we are almost two hours in. Grab a piece of gum and come outside with me. Everyone, put your gumball on the ground right here. Without touching the gumball, you need to get the gumball all the way from over here to the end of the pool. The first two people to make it to the end are safe. The other three people have to do a ton of push-ups. Ready, set, go! Yes. <laughs> 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 
Say your octopus is coming along. I'm just worried about not having enough time to finish it. Wait, I see the sushi. Yeah. I don't see the bowl of ramen. Yeah, I'm still working on my snail. I'm gonna be putting a big mama spider somewhere over here. I was going to do a bowl of tentacles and then that just didn't work out, so now I'm gonna do a snail. Interesting. We're gonna play a little game. You're gonna throw a gumball up in the air and catch it in your mouth. Oh, nice, you caught it. Nice. Oh, oh you missed, Michelle. <gasps> oh, Jazz, oh. you missed. If you get this in your mouth, you are safe. Oh, oh. so close. Michelle, Jazz, and Mackenzie, you guys are gonna do a face off. Oh! Wait! That was in and out! Oh. Nice! No. Oh! <laughs> you two, rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses gets their right hand oh. handcuffed. Rock, paper, scissors! No! <laughs> it's gonna be connected to Michelle's. Wait, for some reason your gum looks so gross, but the other people's gum look nice and clean. What, what's going on? I might have not chewed it all the way. Everyone, I'm gonna have you come spin the wheel and this is how many laps you have to do around the house. All right, you're doing six laps. Jake, you're doing seven laughs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nine! Oh, two. Oh! Everyone, go run. Bye, guys. I'm gonna get done with these laughs real quick. I don't know, I don't have any shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh my gosh. Last one. All right, back to work. <sighs> wow. I'm ready to be unhandcuffed. Um, follow along. I can't think. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air. It is <laughs> over. You may now get unhandcuffed. Yay! Why don't you tell us a little bit about your piece? So I decided to make a snake instead. I want to crush all the tiny little gumballs up to make all the scales. And I really wanted to kind of make it disguised because rattlesnakes are really camouflaged. Good job. So I made mama spider over here. It's got a little baby crawling off the web. They just wrapped up their dinner or whatever. Maybe it's a bee, a fly, you know. The spiders' textures look very, very nice. Were you going for kind of a Spider-Man color theme? Yes. All right. At first, your piece of art was looking a little bit iffy, but 
You made it look really nice, and the rice has texture, the seaweed. Overall, it looks kind of aesthetically pleasing. I would say I like the suction cups. I like the overall volume. And I kind of liked how you went with the gumballs. Good job, Mackenzie. All right, Michelle, tell me about your piece of art. Uh, mine is a baby snail in a big, large shell mountain. I mean, the snail looks cute. It looks a little stubby. <laughs> Jack, you want to know what Gabe said when he saw Michelle? What? He said, damn, she really said I give up. <laughs> we will now be eliminating one person at a time. Michelle, why are you locking eyes with me? Why are you looking at me? Because, Michelle, you have been eliminated. I am sorry. Izzy, unfortunately, you are out. I'm sorry. Can I get a drum roll, please? Next person out. Mackenzie! Oh. We are down to our last two. The winner of this challenge is... Oh my god. Jess! Oh my god! Well, Jess, you know how this works. You can donate up to 10 grand. Oh my god! We have a wheel over there. You will oh spin it. Oh my gosh! Come over here. Come on, Jess. Let's go. Yeah! Jess, in a future video, we will donate $8,000 on your behalf. Yay! This is 100,000 jelly beans. You guys have eight hours to make art out of jelly beans, and whoever has the best one will win up to $5,000 for whichever subscriber you're paired up with. Are you guys eating jelly beans already? Oh. Your eight hours begins now. Whenever I'd go over to my grandma's house, she always had jelly beans. Yeah. And it made me so happy. I have mixed feelings about jelly beans. When I was younger, people would come to school with the bean boozled jelly beans, and then it would taste like I hate jelly beans. I'm not gonna eat them unless I'm forced to. And we know we'll be forced. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm already starting. <laughs> Like dragon. We're all so surprised. Hey guys. Hey Zach. Hey Zach. Hey Zach. Want to know something funny? There's also going to be a losing punishment. That's oh. not funny. The losing artists have to sort out 10,000 jelly beans by the exact flavor. Flavor? Flavor? Yes. That's your idea, Jess. I think I'm going to go ahead and make like a cartoon dragon. I'm going to do a blue heron. I am going to be doing an octopus and I'm probably going to build it up as well if I have time. <laughs> Turtle. Wait, is everyone doing an animal? Yeah. What? <laughs> Jake, eat it off the ground. Mm, no. Everyone take a seat. First person to grab me exactly five blue jelly beans from this pile over here. Get something. Go. You can't give me six. It needs to be five. First person to put it in my hand. Jess got it. Jess got it. Yes, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna choose two artists and eliminate two colors for them. <laughs> Everyone's really quiet now. It looks like you have a lot of red in front of you. <laughs> you have to a nervous laugh. Gonna have to eliminate red for you. Ooh. Shoot, she has right. one more. Jake. Yeah. I'll eliminate white for you. For the rest of the challenge, Izzy, you cannot use red. Jake, you cannot use white. I was actually gonna do Dax. And I knew if I did Dax, they would eliminate blue. So I said I was doing a stupid macaw. That was the worst thing I ever heard in my entire life. Why are you my plan? Hey guys, listen up. I have a little challenge for you all. In this jar, I have jelly beans. But there are two different flavors. Ah! So it can either be pear or booger. Yeah! If you get booger, you have 50 push-ups, and if you spit it out, you have 100. Pick one. This one. All right, so everyone, on the count of three, you will be eating it. Three, two, one, go. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to me now? 100 push-ups instead of 50. Ooh. Jazz and Ben, you guys got 50 push-ups each. It was the best booger I've ever had. Ready? Why am I being punished for eating a booger bean? One. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God. This is my secret touch. Wish uh, Right now, we're doing a craft video. You get to choose your artist. I'm Angie. If I win, you have the chance to win up to $5,000. Izzy, let's make it a... Izzy's your crush? Hi! Oh, okay. Thank you for saying I'm your crush. 
I'm doing Zach's logo. He won't win. Just look at Michelle's right now. I'll pick you. Yeah! I'm trying to make a dragon. It's really hard and it's tasty. Good luck, but we're gonna win. Yeah, I think they already know what's happening. So if you get the bad one, 50 burpees. If you spit it out, 100 burpees. What's the bad one? Your birthday cake or stinky socks? <laughs> Three, two, one. Are you okay, me? So this entire half got a good one, bad half got a horrible one. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. Oh, God. Ben, Izzy, Michelle, y'all have 50 burpees each. Oh, look at these gains. You guys might want to hurry it up because you guys have a little more than three hours left. That's all I'm oh. <laughs> so Ew, what is in here? That's Chew tight. it up, Jillian. If you don't look like to chop some beans, then don't look at them. Wow. Like you just chew it over. What is it? Why would you do that? You might want to speed it up a little. What else do you have to say about it? I feel like your piece could use some speed. Oh. <laughs> Very ambitious. Do you think you're going to finish? Yeah, like two and a half hours. I don't know. Oh, Ben, that's looking kind of cool. Michelle, you might want to pick it up. All right, guys, we have a little challenge. So if you win this challenge, you'll get a pretty big advantage. So come with me. Is there anything if you uh, lose? Oh, yeah, of course. Here's what's going to happen. You guys are trying to sort the jelly beans by color, and whoever finishes sorting them first, so let's just say you want to finish sorting them first. Go! Raise your hand when you're done sorting them. All right. Raise your hand when you're done. Done! Oh. Yeah. All right, I saw Jazz and then McKenzie's. Jazz, you are first, and now let's see who's last. Done. All right, Izzy's done. Oh, fails. Is it going to be Jake or Michelle? Oh, oh Michelle. Oh. You just missed the mark. Everyone, back to your spots. I'll explain what you won, Jazz, and Michelle, I'll explain to you what you lost. Choose one person and eliminate a color. Yeah. Okay. Ben is using almost all reds, and Izzy is almost using all blues. First time, I thought Izzy was going to do the word <laughs> that was red, and she lied. So now that I know that you no more blue. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy, your entire face is blue. All right, Izzy, I guess you're going to have to improvise you some reds or greens or something. Yes, what did you do? Okay, Izzy, but you can keep the blue you already have on here. <laughs> oh, Michelle, no, you also yes. have a punishment. On your canvas right now, you have whites, you have purples, you have blues, and you have greens. Eliminate one of those colors. Purple. That works. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Wait, Izzy, you're completely restarting. Yes. How are you gonna do this? I don't know. She only has two hours left. Oh, artist. No, 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 I am not ready. You get the bad flavor, five minutes of planks, you spit it out, 10 minutes. This is either chocolate pudding or dog food. One time I ate dog food. Well, you gotta try it again. All right, Jess, pick one. Um, All right. Uh, is there actual chocolate in here? Wait, since when were you allergic to chocolate? I'm allergic to milk. All right, Ben, so there's no milk. You should be good. Go. Chocolate! Yeah, chocolate. <laughs> ben and Jake, go do five minutes of planks. <laughs> I will punch your elbow in, words. I will punch you back. What? No. See what this air hockey is all about. Ah! Probably not gonna finish, but I'll try. 33 minutes left. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, hands off. <laughs> that is so disgusting. All right, everyone, let's clear off this table and let's see your art. Jake, why don't you start? It has a gradient of color. I guess towards the head, it's more warm colors and then the tentacles are more cool colors. More than half of this piece was done in the last 30 minutes. I know, impressive, right? Very nice octopus, Jake. Michelle, tell me about your sea turtle. Since the sea turtle is green, blue, and purple, I decided to make the water pink and brown. He's swimming in blood. <laughs> uh, all right. There wasn't much time left, so I kind of 
glue the whole thing and then dump the jelly beans on top. Good job, Michelle. Ben, tell me about your dragon. It's like a red Chinese dragon, SCI, and it's on a blue background. I am actually very, very impressed. You have some 3D components, and I just thought the color scheme fit really well. The green really stands out for the eye, the blue background really makes the dragon stand out. Good job, Ben. Izzy, Jazz started out by eliminating red, yeah. and then she eliminated blue. Yeah six hours in. Yeah, I know, I remember. So this entire thing was done in the last two hours, which is pretty crazy. Thank you. So I created a, I guess a samurai mask. The colors I think are really interesting and vibrant. I mean, for the amount of time you had left, I would say that's pretty impressive. Good job, Izzy. All right, Jazz, tell me about your piece. My concept was a cartoon dragon at the drive-in theater. He's just eating an ice cream, chilling, he has a rosy cheeks. Ice cream chilling? The car looks kind of flat. Nope, it's not. <laughs> well, Jazz, I, I really like how you were the only one that made like a real 3D model. Very cute design, and I guess we're gonna see if the subscribers like the 3D look more or the more 2D look. So good job, Jazz. Mackenzie, I see some open canvas. I actually like how this turned out. I think it's cool how it looks like the jelly beans are taking over the canvas so you can still see some of the canvas. But I have a blue heron and some weeds. Did you say weeds? <laughs> well, I think the bird looks absolutely amazing. I love the details in the back. I really wish you used something else for the background just because I feel like the white blends in with the cream a little too much, so there's not a ton of contrast there. Overall, very nice. It is time for the subscribers to decide who wins. In this tray, I have four black beans, two red beans. You guys are gonna close your eyes and pick a bean. If you get the red ones, you're going head to head in a sudden elimination round. All right, everyone, look at your bean. Oh, yeah. oh. All right, Jake, Ben, you two are going head to head in a sudden death round. Ben. I asked one of our subscribers, Antonio Vega, which one do you like better, the dragon or the octopus? And the person getting eliminated, Jake. What? <laughs> you didn't finish. I got eliminated. Oh. <laughs> everyone, close your eyes again. Reach behind you. All right, everyone, look at your jelly bean. Oh, damn it. All right, it's Jazz against Michelle. So I asked Sarah which one she likes more, the turtle or the dinosaur. The dinosaur dragon. <laughs> Sarah has made a decision, and the person getting eliminated, Jazz. Oh. All right, Michelle, you get to choose first. <laughs> All right, everyone, look at your jelly bean. Oh, oh yeah. Let's go. Izzy versus Michelle. Okay, I just asked Aiden which one he likes better, the turtle or the mask? And the person getting eliminated, Michelle. All right, we don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, that was just sitting over there. Did anyone see that? The spirit from the old Yeah. Oh, and Mackenzie, you get the lateral in the back one. Look at your jelly beans. Oh, Ben versus Mackenzie. All right, I just asked Rowell which one he likes better, the dragon or the heron. The person that is moving on to the finale, Mackenzie! <laughs> this is Izzy versus Mackenzie. I asked one of our subscribers, which one do you like better, the heron or the mask? Ooh. And the winner of our annual jelly bean competition is... <laughs> 